Hey, Scott. Peter. How are you? I'm awesome. Good. Let, hey, right. Let's do a picture right off the bat, okay? All right. right. Sounds good. Three, oh. two, one. Awesome. Got it. Thanks. Good. Oh, happy birthday. It's uh, a first member in Australia. That, oh, wow. Great. Great. Nice hat. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Oh, it's um, you know, because Halloween and everything. Oh, <laughs> good, <laughs> very good. Um, just yeah, getting into the spirit of it. How have you been good. this through this whole thing? Whatever we're calling this whole thing. Good. I mean, I I have been relatively, I wouldn't say unaffected, but I've been able to work. Um, because I I travel from farm to farm, and we're basically outside, plenty of fresh air, and not a lot of people. So I've been able to carry on our, our clinic where people bring their dogs and cats um, yeah. has been yeah. great, greatly affected. We're still not allowing clients into the clinic. So we, you know, everything is curbside. So that and what used to take 15 minutes to do now takes 30 minutes to do just because of yeah. it, it's been difficult, it's been difficult. So but. There's not a lot of COVID up here, but there is a little bit, but we're all super careful. Yeah, well, that's really great that there's not too much. Yeah. And I'm such a fan of um, Willy Wonka and being able to meet, you know, Charlie, which is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, you know, kind of like, I guess, like, if you could sort of, like, um, put my mind to rest, like, those children that, I guess they're not children anymore, but in the movie, like, those children that kind of, like, went elsewhere, they're <laughs> all... <laughs> Right. The I don't know exactly. Well, I guess I guess Gene Wilder, Willie Wonka at the end says that they will be restored. They'll all be restored to their rotten selves, you know. So I guess they did survive, although we have no proof of that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's quite a thing. It's like, oh, no, like they, yeah, there's a furnace, uh, but right. don't worry about the furnace because they might get stuck or, you know. Right, exactly. It, I loved it, and um, you know, obviously, it was groundbreaking. Sorry, groundbreaking stuff. Sure. Um, and I've just watched it so many times. Like I'm such a fan. Yeah, it. Um, um, and that tunnel. There's, like, there's a lot of uh, great humor at different levels. You know, as an adult, you can watch it, and you're going to get something than your five year old daughter. You know, from watching the film. So it works on a lot of different levels and, and the, that is humor, actually, the writing is wonderful. Absolutely. It's so true. Cause like it was based on a novel, like Rob Dahl. Sure. Charlie um, and the chocolate factory. Yeah. So like there's the snozberries and then there's kind of like, I guess like the darkness of the whole thing, but like the light sure. humor, they go through this scary tunnel that everyone talks about, I suppose. Um, and yeah, like there was, there was only enough seats on that boat for the amount right. of kids who <laughs> exactly. That far. exactly. And so like, you know, he, he, he had a plan. <laughs> sure. Sure. He had a plan, right. To, to wipe us all out. I'm afraid. <laughs> Except Charlie. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, Oh, actually, is it okay? Can you say that one thing again that you'd said about like um, Trump, what would he do with like the, Oh, <laughs> or this <laughs> It was just an observation that I don't think he would have given the everlasting gobstopper back. I think he probably would have kept it <laughs> and then resold it, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, that was just like the funniest comment that I've ever heard. <laughs> that was awesome. But oh, thank you so much. Like, um, it's just like such an honor to meet you and you're amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. You stay safe. Have a happy uh, Halloween. You too. <laughs> okay. All right. There See you, you later. Go. Bye now.